All right, so I know I might have touched on this topic a little bit throughout a couple of the Chicago Bulls videos that I've been recently doing, but I feel like there is a player out there that the Chicago Bulls desperately need to go out and try and sign, and his name is Derek Jones Jr. He does play for the Miami Heat. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably pretty familiar with him at this point. Pretty, mu uh, pretty much to summarize it, if you guys are, Derrick Jones Jr., I believe, was the dunk contest 2020 winner. He's a very athletic player. Again, has a pretty insane dunk highlight package. But again, one of the things that makes him stand out as such a really, really talented player on an NBA team is actually his defense. He has shown that he is very capable of guarding really one through five. Like, literally, he can get switched on, you know, point guard, shooting guard, and center and do it pretty comfortably. We've seen him, you know, mainly guard the small forward and power forward position. But again, he has just been such a versatile player for the couple of years with the Miami Heat. He gradually improves his three-point accuracy, um, and he's just becoming a really solid role player in the team. And there are a couple, you know, a gun on the Miami Heat, and there are a couple of teams that I do feel like he would be very, very good with. We've heard a lot of rumors that the Cleveland Cavaliers are actually leading the charge to try and sign him. But there is one team in the Chicago Bulls that I definitely feel like should try and sign this guy. Offer him a huge contract, a contract that he just wouldn't, you know, go back to the Miami Heat or sign with the Cleveland Cavaliers. A contract that would convince him to come to the Chicago Bulls. And the reason why I'm very, very optimistic on this actual signing for the Miami Heat is the fact that the Heat don't really have a small forward. They pretty much played the whole entire season without one as Otto Porter Jr. was injured for the majority of the season. Throughout the season, they really just played a guard there in Zach Levine or Chris Dunn or Thomas Sadoransky. Pretty much all three of those players played very quality and huge minutes in as the shooting guard, as the small forward position rather. And I definitely feel like, can, considering they've got no depth at small forward at all, maybe signing Otto Porter Jr. You know, back wouldn't be the worst thing. I wouldn't be really looking to do it. If I was the Chicago Bulls, I would go out there and sign a player in Derrick Jones Jr. to the team on a probably three-year deal. And what this now does is you finally get a small forward. Not just that, a small forward that can actually, you know, defend and actually should be playing that position. A player that is extremely versatile and can make up for the lack of defense, you know, Zach Levine and Laurie Markin do provide on the floor. And again, I just feel like he would be an absolute perfect fit for the team. Not only is, you know, bringing in Derrick Jones Jr. a very good fit, he will be able to play 25 to 30 minutes per night, you know, at that small forward position. They could bring him in on about a three-year deal worth maybe $10 million or so per season. And not just that, this gives them the flexibility to now go out and try and draft LaMelo Ball. Now, LaMelo Ball, I'm not too sure if he will fall down at pick four, which the Chicago Bulls do have. If he could fall down at pick four, that would be the, mo you know, the most ideal situation for you know the Chicago Bulls. And again, at pick four, I do believe they should be trying to draft LaMelo. But if they can't get him at four, and it's reported that the Charlotte Hornets will try and get him at three, I would definitely be very much pushing the Charlotte Hornets to try and get him. Now, again, this is another player I wanted to talk about in this video that the Chicago Bulls should go out and get, and that, again, is LaMelo Ball. I feel like if the Charlotte Hornets, you know, we're going to take him at pick three, if I was the Chicago Bulls, I would definitely be offering my fourth pick, and then, you know, trying to offer them a player or a pick to try and move up, and again, try and get LaMelo Ball if they can do it for at least that. So, again, bringing in LaMelo Ball would now be their future, you know, point guard. I definitely feel like LaMelo Ball could be a franchise player in the NBA. I know some people do disagree with that. But what I saw at Illawarra was absolutely, you know, he was pretty insane. He played for the Illawarra Hawks in the NBL, you know, the Australian League, and... He was just very, very good throughout his time. I know I've seen a lot of people, you know, talk about the fact that he wasn't a good shooter from three. He wasn't a consistent defender. But again, these are just honestly some people that are going out there, you know, making TikToks, all this type of stuff, trying to put dirt on, you know, his name. But I can guarantee they would not have watched his NBL highlights as much as what some people would have. And, you know, as someone who watched, you know, nearly every single game of LaMelo Ball, he is one of the greatest passes I've seen in a draft 
in a long time. He, you know, has a decent mid-range shot. If he fixed his jump shot up, which I definitely believe a, you know, an NBA um, coach or a shooting coach or whatever it's going to be could definitely do, he could be a very nice player. And yes, you know, some people have talked pretty bad about his defense, but it wasn't always like that in the NBL. He was, you know, guarding full-grown men, and it wasn't, you know, the easiest thing to try and keep up with players who have been experienced for, you know, 10 years. He could have just done the easy way out and, you know, guarded some 20-year-old or something in the, um, in, you know, the uh, college. But instead, he's guarding 20 to 35-year-olds in the NBA. Some of the best guards, you know, that aren't in the NBA do play in that league. You know, one that comes to mind is Bryce Cotton, who... Is the only reason not he's not in the NBA is because he's too small. Um, but in the you know in the Australian league he is absolutely insane. And again, guarding him would have been one of the hardest things that Lamelo Ball could have done. He is more experienced than any other guard in college, and he was would have just been extremely hard. And Lamelo Ball guarded these players. Again, he didn't always succeed with it, but there was often times where he did show a lot of promise on defense. And honestly. With a couple years of experience and with his height, I definitely feel like he could develop into an okay defender in the league. And again, if he can fix his three-point jump shot, he could be an absolute star in the league. So, he is another player the Chicago Bulls could be, you know, trying to go after. Him and Derrick Jones Jr., if they can get those two players... They automatically go from just an average team in the East to a playoff contender. They would finally have a small forward and a small forward that can play defense. They'd have their future point guard. Kobe White can be their future six man. You know, he can play 25 to 30 minutes off the bench as that guard position. It would just be an absolute insane thing, you know, in Chicago. They would have a really nice starting five and a really nice bench core. If we do look at it, it would be, you know, LaMelo Ball at point guard. Um, Zach Levine at shooting guard, Derek Jones Jr. at small forward, Laurie Markinen at power forward, Wendell Carter Jr. at center, while coming off the bench, it would be pretty nice as well, you know, they'd have Kobe White, um, you know, De uh, Thomas Sadoransky rather, um, Thad Young they would have, again, the list would go on, it would be a decent bench, it'd be a decent starting five, I feel like it'd still be another year for them to potentially make the playoffs, but... Again, that would be a very nice, solid core. And they should just really go after Lamelo Ball and Derek Jones Jr. I feel like those should be the two priorities for them. And again, the reasons why they should sign them is they desperately need a small forward. Um, I feel like Derek Jones Jr. is a small forward that can also play defense, extremely versatile, really ticks all the boxes that Chicago do desperately need. Not just that, they can bring in their new future point guard and give Kobe White, you know, the minutes consistently off the bench that I know they've been, you know, really wanting to play him. Yes, they've been wanting him to push, you know, trying to push him in the starting five. I just don't really feel like he's a future starting guard in the NBA. He could be, but I just feel like they should definitely go out and get another, you know, potential point guard, and that should be LaMelo Ball. If they can't get LaMelo Ball, then just keep, keep with it with Kobe White. Just start Kobe White throughout the next season. But again, these, would, these two players that they could potentially bring in would be absolutely insane. They could definitely win at least maybe five to ten more games with just these two players alone. And plus, most of these players are extremely young with a lot of development. The team's going to consistently get better and better throughout the season. They, these moves are just crucial, and they just must desperately try and go and make them. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Of course, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think it would be a good idea by the Chicago Bulls to try and sign... You know, potentially Derek Jones Jr. Do you guys think they should maybe go out and try and draft Lamelo Ball? Again, I definitely would really like to hear all you guys' thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my IRL slash vlogging channel. And don't forget as well to go check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.